Hello everybody, my name is Costa Canals. I'm the sales manager at Dieter Corporation. I'm here with you today at the Dieter Test Facilities in Homewood, Illinois. We're just located about 20 minutes south of Chicago. Uh, Dieter is a multinational company. We specialize in drying and evaporation systems worldwide. So the test facility here that, that we have here at Homewood, Illinois is a critical uh, part of our success to develop uh, products and, and, and systems for our customers. Let me take you through a walk th through the system. Uh, let's, for starters, let me take you to the lab. So the lab is where we do our initial base case uh, analysis of the product. So we, we, when a customer has an application, he wants to concentrate or evaporate a product, we bring it to the lab. And this is where our pipeline manager, Greg, uh, would come in, get the material, and conduct some preliminary trials. And the function of these trials really is to assess what the product looks like, uh, how it behaves, so we can determine what evaporative technology would be best suited for it, as well as what dry te technology. So that's what the basic focus, and that's really step one. So we, we, do, we take great pride in to help customers identify early on what the best system would be for their specific product. Um, so let me walk you through here. So when we're doing an evaporator uh, application, we really need to understand uh, the physical properties of the material. So we run kind of two major uh, parameters which would really affect the evaporator design. One is uh, boiling point elevation, and we use this reboiler here to determine uh, this, this property. We also use a rheometer here, which is right here, and that rheometer will tell us viscosities. And with these, this information from the viscosity and the, and the uh, boiling point elevations, we, we compile a property file that we put into our master program, and then that would help us generate the sizing and, and, and determination of the uh, evaporator design that's best suited for the customer's application. And for drying applications, exclusively we, we measure bulk densities, we, we do oven, uh, we take, take oven measurements uh, to determine how easy the product is to dry. If it retains a lot of moisture, uh, which is, is diffusion limited drying we call it, or it readily releases the moisture which is in the constant rate drying zone. So let, let's go over to the pile plant. Let me bring you over to the uh, first piece of equipment we'll talk about is the evaporator system. So what you can see here is the Dieter evaporator. It's a pilot evaporator. It's designed for uh, approximately 150 pounds per hour evaporation. Uh, the system, for those who don't understand or don't know what evaporator does, what evaporator true function is, is to concentrate a liquid. So if a customer has a, a product that has a high concentration of water and very little solids, we would put it through an evaporator to concentrate it up. So we can concentrate very many different products from uh, stillages uh, all the way up to uh, sweeteners and, and, and other products. What the evaporator here we have is we have for really two major technologies. We have a falling film technology uh, as well as a forced circulation. Again, based on the pilot plant testing we do, we can assess what uh, technology is best suited for it. So uh, we typically would also produce uh, some samples for customers who need uh, a certain amount of product uh, required for their uh, for their uh, lab analysis or even uh, 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 give some, some, some samples to their customers. Over here on the, on the left hand side is the ring dryer technology. Uh, what, what a ring dryer does is it usually takes a paste, a cake, a sludge, or, or something that comes off of the watering uh, device as a, such as a press or, 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 or a centrifuge and we dry the material into a powder-like form. So the ring dryer here we're seeing has about a, an evaporative capacity, depending on the temperatures we run, about 150 pounds per hour evaporative capacity, which is a good size, especially now with customers these days, uh, more and more of our customers are developing new products. They're trying to uh, pr provide value-added products or generate value-added products. So this mechanism, this tool, which we have as a pilot plant, really helps us um, solidify uh, the customer's trust in our equipment by demonstrating how we can dry the, the, the products. Uh, the advantage of the ring drying technology is really, um, it, it really dries material in, in the order of seconds. So we can get product into the dryer and we'll have a more inf demonstrative uh, video uh, coming up shortly on the ring drying technology. We'll give you a tour of it. But essentially, we, we would take the cake 
and put in the dryer and within seconds, five seconds, the materials dry in and out to preserve thermal uh, properties, uh, minimize thermal degradation of the product. And, and the, the key feature for those who don't know is the manifold, which is shown up here. The manifold is, is one of the main features here in the ring dryer technology, which determines how, uh, how, how to selectively uh, recycle the semi-dry product and, and discharge the dry product out of the system. So we, we, do, we do very well. We have a, a tremendous uh, uh, installation based on ring dryers and we will continue to uh, develop new applications with our customers. So this leads me to the, the, the latest addition to the Dieter uh, Pile Plant. It's our, it's our spray dryer. So the spray dryer here is a three meter spray dryer and it's designed for 150 pounds, kilograms per hour evaporation capacity. So this spray dryer we put in was installed in 2017. So it's about three, four years old. Um, and, and it's a state of the art system. Um, the spray dryer, unlike a ring dryer, which takes a cake or a paste, the spray dryer's function is to take a liquid and we atomize it, make a like discrete droplet particles and we produce a fine powder or for that matter, agglomerated products. This, this pilot plant here, which I'll explain in more detail, is very multifunctional. So uh, what I'm showing you right here uh, is a high pressure nozzle, a high pressure uh, pump. When we use nozzles to generate these fine discrete particles, we use a high pressure pump to force this liquid through and spray it into the chamber. Alternatively, alternatively we could use a, a, a rotating disc, which was called a rota rotating atomizer, to generate these discrete particles. So we have many different ways to generate these particles. And the three meter cha chamber on top, which we're panning up to see, can also be multi-configurational. Some customers want a fine powder. So when it's a fine powder, we would just create a, a single stage dryer, which we would just spray the material in and discharge it out. However, more and more customers are, are requiring some functionality in their dried product, product and they want it maybe easily dispersible. At that point, we make it, or non-dusty. Uh, for that matter, we would uh, reconfigure the system, and it's presently shown as a, a two-stage configuration presently, and, and that's when we want to create an agglomerated product. So um, whether the customer wants a fine powder, agglomerated, uh, we, can, we can do it high-pressure nozzle, rotary atomizer. We have the full functionality of this pile plant to do it. Again, uh, many of our customers require tons of product for, for market analysis, and that's what this pilot plant is designed to do. In essence, uh, the, the real growth in our marketplace is with new products. And with the Dieter pilot plant, I'm sure if we come here and we, you give us a chance to, to show you our capabilities, we'll, we'll, we'll fire and exceed your expectations. I hope you found this video and this demonstration to be informative. If you have any questions, feel free to, 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 to contact Dieter at Dieter.com. And thank you very much for, uh, for your attention. Well, let's now continue with the demonstration part of the video. Today, we're gonna to look at an overview of the ring drying technology. For those who are not familiar with the ring technology, it is a nomadic type of dryer, where we get the product in and out of the dryer in the mere matter of seconds. The product gets circulated around the system so that we minimize any thermal degradation of the product at all times. The pilot plant you're seeing right now is designed for an evaporative capacity of 150 pounds per hour. So, which is a good size system when you run, conduct pilot plant trials, as well as we can conduct campaigns for customers when they require a couple of tons of material for marketing studies or feed analysis. So, the system here we have is controlled by a PLC. So, with the PLC, we, we can get to record all the parameters, operating conditions when we run the system. And with that, with those parameters, we can successfully design the system to a full-scale production unit. Let's come around the other side. Here's an overview of the ring technology. There's a variety of components which consists of a mixing section, a disperser, ring dryer, and a manifold. And I'll go through those sections in detail just to get an overall view of the system. So what the ring dryer does, unlike any other technology like a spray dryer, it takes wet cakes, paste, wet granules, and, and dries those materials into a fine powder. So when the material is oftentimes very sticky or wet, 
the material is introduced into a mixer. And I'll show you what the mixer looks like. The mixer is a, is a twin shaft paddle mixer. And you can see there are two shafts that rotate around the system. And the purpose of the mixer is to take the wet cake and distribute it the moisture over a larger surface area. So if we have a really wet and sticky material, the mixer will distribute the moisture into a more surface area to make the material more friable. When we say friable, what we want to do is we take the material in our hand, we squeeze it, we tap it, and it crumbles. That's what we want to do. And when that happens, we introduce it into the, the drying section of the dryer. So the material will come in and enter a disintegrator. The function of the disintegrator is to break up any agglomerates any further. So if we have a big piece, we want to disperse that into finer particles so it gets pneumatically conveyed up and around the drying system. Once it makes the loop, it enters what we call a classifier, where this is specific to the ring dryer. The classifier works by centrifugal force. The heavier particles, or the bigger particles, that enter the system follow the exterior surface of the ducting and get reintroduced back into the drying system, where the finer material, which is less prone to being taken away by centrifugal force, gets circulated around the system and gets conveyed into the cyclone for product collection. On our drying system, we use a natural gas burner for a heat, as a heat source for the drying. So let's wrap around here and I'll show you how the product looks. So the product out of this system typically is a fine powder. And what we're gonna do here is show you this, the, the product discharge comes out of the cyclone and discharges into a barrel, which you can see fine material coming in. So, so the material that left the mixer and discharged into the cyclone was out in a couple of seconds, which is, again, a very important feature for thermally sensitive products. We also have a dust collector here. The dust collector's function really is a mission control device for our purposes, but also can, can serve as a secondary collection point. The other thing we can do on our pilot ring dryer, where we have a lot of customers that are looking for energy, thermal, thermally energy efficient solutions, drying is one of the most expensive ways of, uh, of removing water. So we can recirculate gases out of the system. So this is the fan that draws air through the system. We can recirculate up to about 65% of the product, of the air back into the dryer, which reduces the energy demand and helps with the overall profitability and reducing the OPEX of the dryer. So when customers are drying some thermally sensitive products, this could be a very good advantageous solution. So, this was a quick overview of the system. Feel free to contact us if you have drying inquiries uh, which require ring drying as, as a solution. Thank you very much and I wish you all a pleasant day.